Hello everyone, this is Ryan Matthew Pearson, aka The Frugal Geek, and today I wanted to show you a free service online, that's right, free, as in free, it's called Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O dot com, and what Trello basically is, is it is a powerhouse for productivity and organization and task management, and it's basically one of the simplest and easiest things I've ever used for keeping track of the things that I need to do. Now you can use Trello as an organization or as an individual. It's up to you. And today I'm going to go over just a really quick uh, how to for using Trello as an individual. Let's say you are a freelancer and you have a ton of different projects that are due at various times. You have uh, some subcontractors working on some, you're working by your Yourself on others or you're waiting on an email. There's lots of things that can come up when you are a busy person. And Trello basically makes it real easy to take all those tasks, put them in one place and organize them in a way that flows naturally for you. So today I have created a Trello board and to create a board, basically you just log into Trello. You go to this little plus sign right next to your name. You click it and you hit create board. And I created stuff to do. It's just a very simple board. And from here you can add lists. Now I'm going to add a list. I'm going to call it um, new ideas. Okay. I've added a list called new ideas. This one will be ideas in progress. This one will be stuff that's ready to go. And this one will be stuff that's finished. All right, so I have created four lists. Now within these lists, you can add cards. And what cards are, are individual little projects or individual task items that need to be completed. I'm gonna add a card to the new ideas. I'm gonna say my new idea is uh, bicycle, with mm, five wheels, okay? Bicycles with five wheels. That's gonna be in a card within the new ideas list. Now, upon clicking this card, I can hit edit and I can edit the title of the card itself as well as to add labels. Let's say I want to create a label and call it, um, let's see project idea and this one I will call stuff around the house all right so I have two tags and for this one I'm going to label this one a project idea and I can change members. Now let's say I have an organization or I run a, bi a small business and I have like five or six employees where well, you can add them to the members of your Trello board. And for that, you can basically assign tasks to a specific member. They'll receive an email update anytime a card that they've been assigned to has been modified or, or any information or comments have been made. It's a really easy way to keep people in the loop regarding projects that they're working on. In this case, this is an individual personal board. Nobody else is a member, so I don't have to deal with that at all. I can move the card to another list or move its position within the list. I'm not going to do that. I can copy the card and basically duplicate it. Let's say I have a project that repeats, but each time it repeats, there's something different. So I can copy this one, use it as a template for others. Change the due date. Now due dates are really awesome because I could say, well, bicycles with five wheels, I need it to be uh, an actual finished idea in progress by Saturday the 18th, and I'll save that. And then you'll notice there's a little April 18th on that. And I can also archive the card whenever I'm done with it. So in this case, I have bicycles with five wheels. And I'm going to go ahead and add another one by Grapes at the store. This one will be a personal task. That'll be stuff around the house. I'll save that. So these are things I have to do and I can change their order so that I see them in an order of importance or what have you. And I can, I can create an almost lim unlimited number of cards. I can also click the card. And in this case, I've clicked the card and I'm able to make comments and say, uh, someone has already done this and add a a URL or something to indicate where it's been done, maybe some notes. This needs to be made out of 
titanium and I'll make that comment and the comments made and it's in there. I will have received an email letting me know uh, so that I'm alerted. Hey, there's something going on with this project that I'm assigned to. Um, assigning members is very easy. And again, you just click this members up here and you click their name. And as you can see under members, there's my face. I'm not automatically assigned to my own stuff, which is good because maybe I've created something and I don't want to get updates about it, but you just manually assign yourself and that's very easy to do. Okay. So I've made this, this comment a few days goes by and I've made a lot of progress with the bicycles on with five wheels project. And I'm working on that currently right now. I just click it, drag it to ideas in progress and bam, we have taken this project and we've moved it to another list so that everyone involved in the project or assigned to this board can see where I've gone with this project. So right now, Bicycles with Five Wheels is in progress. Grapes at the store is just a new idea. It hasn't gone that extra step just yet. And at a point, I can, I'll have maybe a website or an external link or more information about it. And I'll write a basic description of the project. This is a project for a bicycle that has five wheels. The project source files are located here. And I put a URL right there and I'll save it. And that'll be at the top so that anytime somebody looks at this, at this particular project, they will see, oh, okay, well, this is more information about it. This is its description. And you can edit that, of course, at any time. And I can continue to move the project down. And once it's done, I can put it in stuff that's finished. That would be a great way to organize, for example, for a blog, a multi-user blog. You can say, well, this is for the writers to make pitches. The editor approves it, moves it into this column. The writer writes it, moves it into this column. That lets the editor know that it's ready to go, ready to edit in the back end of the site. Once the editor's done with it and puts it live, it goes here. And then the marketing team can tweet about it and Facebook about it and do all of that. So that's one of the ways that Trello can be absolutely useful in your daily life. It's incredible. I recommend you check it out. It's Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O.com. If you would like a tutorial or a review of any software, service, or product, please just leave it in the comment section below. If I can get my hands on it, I'll check it out and I'll make a video for you. This has been Ryan Matthew Pearson, aka The Frugal Geek, signing off.